I mean, there's also the danger of hype, that we talk as if the therapy was almost there, and I think there's a long way to go before we have a functioning therapy. I mean, it's one thing to be able to grow a dopamine-producing cell, and another thing to implant it in the brain of a patient suffering from Parkinson in such a way that it is safe, that it grows, and that it cures the disease. We have been working with Parkinson's disease, among other neurological diseases, for quite many years. And what we have uh, done, starting almost 20 years ago now, is an experiment or experiments using human fetal tissue they can produce dopamine and you can have functional effects and improve patients. In some patients with quite dramatic improvement. And this is some kind of proof of concept uh, uh, studies, uh, which of course are promising or form a quite promising basis for the stem cell therapies. And there are many attempts now to generate large numbers of dopamine neurons from stem cells to transplant in Parkinson patients. You could see huge developments and improvements. Not quickly, it's not going to happen next week, but there's a long-term benefit that I think will be available for people with Parkinson's disease, like I have. And what we are doing now is to prepare for the next step, namely to uh, develop a stem cell-based therapy, which I think is several years ahead, because we don't really know what is the best stem cell source to produce dopamine yet.